Hey guys, you're joining me down here at EA's London Winter Showcase, and we're about to see Shift 2 Unleashed. I'm joined by Marcus Nielsen, who is the executive producer for the game. Tell us about how you're improving on uh, Need for Speed Shift, the first one. Um, uh, Shift 2 Unleashed um, is, is a big improvement from Shift 1. Uh, getting a game out there to a lot of people, and let, let them play it. Uh, we get so much data, and we can incorporate that into uh, into to the sequel. Uh, we're doing great things with uh, Shift 2 Unleashed. We, we, we have... Um, a focus that we should call the driver's battle, which goes straight through the game from from you know being in there, driving these cars, battling the cars, battling the other um, people that you're you're uh, playing multiplayer in, battling the uh, the people you play in career in, um, actually battling your friends through uh, uh, um, um, implementation of auto log, which I'm I'm sure people are familiar now with uh, Hot Pursuit. So um, um, uh, other great improvements that we made is uh, we. Um, AI has get an overhaul. Uh, we're also making uh, car physics and handling a lot more smooth and um, more, um, you know, more accurate. I would say um, rendering. Uh, we, we have a brand new rendering engine for the game. Um, you know, in all, in all aspects, I would say you know we're making you know big improvements. One of the things that you said during your presentation was that you you're not bothered about a thousand cars, right? It's all about the actual racing experience. Can you just elaborate on that a little bit more? Yeah, um, you know, coming from from battle games uh, as I do uh, coming into to racing series as you know dice has a you know legacy with racing games uh, a lot of people interested in racing games at dice I'm one of them uh, coming into this franchise looking at the, uh, the this genre is quite stale uh, and the innovation seems to be in numbers a thousand cars and uh, and and just ha you know driving a, a, a polo 1.4 and 1.6 is not cutting it for me I want to have I want to move the genre forward and we're doing that by by putting the people behind the wheel controlling that and the new helmet cam which you've now played um, is just moving the genre forward in, 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 a, in a big way how, how, how it kind of helps you look into the corner how you take the corner uh, the immersive feeling of being there when you when you break when you when you accelerate um, it's just putting you behind the wheel of, of you know almost a real feeling of being in a race car mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned autolog of course it's being implemented in hot pursuit how is it going to work in, uh, in, in Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleash and is it going to build on that at all? Uh, absolutely. You know, Autolog for me is almost like a philosophy um, and, and it's almost like uh, the purest form of user oriented content. You play the game, you you render a time, that time goes out to all your friends and, and, and we compete to beat that time. Once once someone beats that, you know, everyone goes after that time. Yeah. So it's really a really cunning way of letting people play the game battling with their friends. Uh, as you remember, the, uh, the driver's battle is, is the kind of the focus for the game and it fits perfectly into that. Um, Autolog uh, in Hot Pursuit is 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 an amazing implementation, and and most people that will see this interview have played the demo, um, and and have experienced that. We're taking that one step further on, making that feeling a little bit more deeper, uh, uh, surfacing the data in a, in in a, in a little bit different sense, but you know in in a way that makes perfect sense. Uh, you were pretty ballsy at the beginning of our uh, demo, you know, saying wanted to take on Forza and Gran Turismo. I mean. It, this this marks a new direction for EA in as much as they're splitting it out into you know simulation and um, arcade territory. What do you think you can you know bring to the sim market? Uh, I think that we already brought a lot to the sim market with, with Shift One. To be honest, um, the uh, some of the feedback was that you know you know you you're not really um, you know you know purely sim um, with the game last time. And, and you know I, I can I can you know I can admit that some of that um, feedback is right. However, though with this this game and with the, with the physics engine. Um, that we're now using, you know, you, you don't get any more sim than this. Uh, if you put this game on elite model, handling model, you, you, you get a sim which is just, you know, more sim than, than anything else out there. Are you in a position to talk about tracks, cars that are going to be in the game at this stage? Um, you know, not specifics, but we are doubling up on, on, on um, you know, tracks, we're doubling up on cars. Uh, we, we will feature about 130 cars. Uh, the important thing for me is that every car has an identity, every car makes sense, every car for you is, is an aspiration you have to drive that car. Um, again, you know, Polo, I can drive that on my spare time. 
Uh, let's talk about the collaboration because it sounds almost like Slightly Mad Studios and Dice are collaborating f for this. What's the what's the setup for it? Um, you know, Slightly Mad Studios uh, is a very talented studio, and, and a lot of you know, looking at Slightly Mad, there's a lot of, reminds me of early days at Dice. Um, the the passion, the, the the working around the clock to get the best result out there. These guys are not stopping for anything but the highest quality. Uh, that is something that made Battlefield really come to life. Um, so I can see that the the, the Dice. Um, involvement in this is, is basically purely down to uh, down to me and and the uh, uh, the senior vice president Patrick Sutherland. Patrick Sutherland being a huge inspiration into how it is actually to be in one of these fa fast cars, um, and um, and uh, you know I'm overseeing this from the from the point of making this really uh, accessible, um, fun, um, you know right way of auto log implementation. Uh, it's just a perfect marriage actually between SMS and the technical knowledge and and uh, the more kind of dice uh, approach to, to games. Yeah, we saw uh, Patrick taking Jane around the track last week for Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, so uh, but believe he's a good driver. Oh, yeah, he is a, you know, he's actually, if you think about that, you know, he's a senior vice president for EA. Um, he, he is he is a very good driver. He is seriously a very good driver. And, and actually, you know, in the series, the GT3 series, he he, um, he and his co-driver, Edward Sandstrom, won the last uh, one GT3 in Europe. So that would uh, vouch for that, I think. Good person to uh, have on board. Say again? A good person to have on board. Oh, you, you know, he, he can just uh, benchmark what we're doing in the game. Um, with, um, with the physics system we have, we can set up the cars to feel like it is to drive the cars that he's driving um, and again we, we can't get in a more sim like than that all right Marcus tell us when we can uh, expect to see need for speed shift 2 and on what platforms uh, you can expect to see uh, shift 2 unleashed on uh, ps3 Xbox and PC uh, this coming spring 2011